Lannister always pays his debts, and so does a Humphreys. In today's lesson, we visit the house of Lannister and learn the melody that represents this ruthless family. So let's get right into the technique on how to play a Lannister always pays his debts on cello. We begin today's lesson in the first cello part, which has us playing in pizzicato. If you are unfamiliar with how to do pizzicato, I made a video about that. You start here with your bow hold, and then you put your bow into your hand, making this L shape right here. And then you put your thumb on the side, and you pizzicato with the first finger, starting in the first measure. And then you have those two rests to jump into your bowing arco. A good place to start is here at the point of equilibrium. That point, if you want to know, is a place on your bow where it balances. This is where you have the most control of your bow. Consider it a place of zero gravity where you have the most balance on both ends of the bow. Start there. Measure eight, last note. And then you lift and begin down bow. The end of 16 has a legato, shifting up. And when you do these shifts, you have a slight glissando. That's okay. Here's a string cross. The beginning of 24, which is B, you don't want to start here too close. You want to start more toward that middle point, a little bit beyond it, if you will. And then we finish out the melody. C begins up bow, harmonic. And then you replace for the beginning of D. Now let us zoom in and take a closer look at the fingerings. This song has been transposed for you in D minor. If you are unfamiliar with the D minor, there is a video in the top right of your screen. To click on it, review, and return to this lesson. We begin in the first cello part. Pizzicato, all in first position. Shifting up to the upper second position. Shift back. And remain there. Put your bow on the string. Shift to fourth. Remain there on the C. Go to the D. Mm -hmm. 
lower third. string harmonic my counsel for playing this last section is keeping your fingers nice and wide releasing the thumb and making that space between those fingers as big as possible your hand may be larger than mine I presume so and so you can angle your fingers down more just be aware of the F natural Shifting back to the, this extended third position and ending on a one. Thank you for watching my video today on how to play a Lannister always pays his debts from the HBO series Game of Thrones. And not only does a Lannister pay his debts, a Humphreys does as well. I promise this lesson and cover to one of you subscribers before winter came. And before the first day of winter, which is the solstice of this month, I am providing it to you because winter is coming. If you are new to this channel, would you consider subscribing? This is something that I do every single week, not only teaching you songs, but providing the partition on MuseScore, giving you the full entire experience of learning cello online. And if you know someone who needs some help with cello and loves the Game of Thrones, would you share this video with them? I would appreciate it. Lastly, and of course, not the least, if you learn something, or if you just like me, leave a like. <laughs> so I wanna thank you for watching my video. These videos over here might be more interesting for you. YouTube sort of picks them out. And I want you to have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, enjoy learning the cello, and I hope you do stick around and learn a little bit more with us here on the Cello Coach channel.